Okay, now look, I want you to pay attention to this, and I want you to show this and send this to all your friends so that you can know once and for all to stop paying attention to these stupid, phony, Kamala polls. I'm telling you. I don't know why you keep falling for this. They don't explain this. They tell you poll, and you just believe it. You say, okay, well, must be good. No, it mustn't necessarily be good. They're lying. They're lying. Now, let's do a couple of things here. Let me let me bring you up to speed. Let me bring up all my figures here. First and foremost, we're talking about the two big, big deals, RCP, the Real Clear Politics, and 538, okay? And from time to time, Gamala might be up by two points, maybe, or three. It depends day to day on the RCP uh, polling average. And about, I don't know, three and a half, maybe or more points or so with the 538 supposedly, and I've seen the numbers fluctuate up and down all over the place. Now, some of this is complete and total nonsense. Smoke and mirrors, or as we say in West Tampa, caca del toro. And it's true that there is a, there has been a fit, if you will. There's been a moment of excitement on the part of these Dem, uh, Democrats, especially after, after this comatose coach been walking around and that whole thing was dead. I mean, you know, uh, um, you know, Don Lemon's crying for, well, he's crying for a variety of different reasons. In any event, now, since she became the nominee, she really tapped into Bobby Kennedy's numbers. And they went from, at one point, from like 10% to like 45 So, yeah, she's, she's, she's having an impact. And can she win? Of course she can win. She can win by the distortion, by the PR, by the lies, by this uh, movement and this, uh, this uh, contribution of social media and the like, and by the countless hundreds of thousands, perhaps, of, of mail-in, absentee, and write-in ballots that only matter in seven states, 15 counties, and that changes everything. And nobody can tell me. Nobody can answer that question. When I bring it up, they say, well, don't bring that up again. Why? Well, that sounds like that crazy, that crazy Dominion talk. I'm not talking about the machines. I'm not talking about craft or not Craftmatic, uh, Smartmatic or Craftmatic. I'm not talking about mattresses. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. I'm talking about plain old ballots. Now, let me do a couple of things because you got to understand something here. First of all, is can Trump win? Absolutely. Oh, my God. If you can eliminate, let me just tell you something. I'll go this far. If you can eliminate the possibility of shenanigans when it comes to write-in ballots, I'll guarantee you Trump's going to win. Guaranteed. He's going to win. He's going to take it. There is one particular point. In in one of the RCP polls, 65% of the country said that, that this country was in the wrong direction. You've got Democrats. You've got Tulsi, who, by the way, is so, so... Um, presidential my god she's that she's she's the future Tulsi Gabbard is it Bobby Kennedy uh, not as a president but you know maybe in the cabinet but that's that's neither here nor there and here's the best part too to show you how bloody stupid these Democrats are they're actually push, pushing for corporate tax rate increases and taxing unrealized capital gains so you can say to this, to uh, Silicon Valley and uh, the Wall Street hedge fund bigs, you're you're uh, uh, you're you're nuts. And by the way, there's also this thing called the unpollable mass, the unpollable sampling. These are people who represent various demographics who normally wouldn't be caught dead telling anybody that they were going to vote for Donald Trump, but they are there in droves. Okay, in droves. Now let's talk about this couple of things. I want to bring you up to uh, speed here. First and foremost, here's where a couple of, uh, of uh, uh, problems arise with some of these stupid polls that nobody ever questions. You just assume that because they're mentioned on Fox News or MSNBC that they must satisfy some legitimate, you know, threshold level of, of, of authenticity, legitimacy, accuracy, whatever. A lot of these folks are pulling a disproportionate number of of Biden 2020 voters, a lot of women, a lot of metropolitan, uh, a, a lot of young people. I mean, this is, you're, they, they don't even, they're underrepresenting, in fact, Republicans. They're polling fewer Republicans. What kind of a sampling is that? 
I mean, some of these some of these polls are wild. There was one I was reading in um, recently. There was one called the Michigan Bloomberg Morning Consult. It was a five way poll from July twenty eighth. It showed Kamala up like twelve points. It's like, what are you talking about? This is this is hallucinogenic time. It's nuts. And and some of these other these other polls. We're not really sure who these polls are. We're not really sure the names of them. Who are they? Um, I was reading uh, names like Big Village, Kaplan Strategies, Angus Reed, Global, Eddie's Polls, and Bar and Grill. Who are these polls? What are we talking about? How does this even roughly work? Also, keep in mind there's a couple of things which you have to understand. You do you do know there were more Democrats than Republicans, right? About three to four percent. Why? Why? California, New York. The biggest blue states there is. Throw them out of the contention, and basically you've got almost a dead heat. You're not going to see that. You're not going to see that because the purpose of these polls is not to in any way assess metrically correct data to tell you exactly what this particular snapshot is. It's not what it's about. What it's about, and this is critical, what it's about is to make you think everything's going great and that she's going to clobber Trump. It's a form of propaganda. Absolutely, unbelievably, it's propaganda. Also, Democrats are three to four times more likely to answer a poll, uh, let's say educated Democrats, than non-educated. And they they also are over-polling high turnout voters. That's another thing. When you have a sample, are you looking at voters or likely voters? Are you looking at registered voters only or merely um, uh, adults? These are the things which have to be looked at. These are the aspects. What poll? If I took you, let's say we got a a million-dollar contract from I don't know who to do a polling. I'm going to take you to the Short Hills Mall in Short Hills, New Jersey, okay? Loads of people. First of all, let's walk up to folks. Are we asking people in groups? Are we handing news uh, papers out? Are we calling people on the phone? How are we asking people these questions? How is the question asked? Whom do you prefer, Gamala or President Trump? Guess what young people are going to say, if that's the focus of your targeting. Hi, kids, are you registered to vote? Okay, that's good enough. What do you think they're going to say? What do you think they're going to say? Are we in a city? Let's go again to, to rural. Let's go to more pastoral demographics. Where, who are these people we're asking? Do, do these samples in any way mimic the real uh, demographic uh, makeup of the country? Do they represent 40% blacks? Do 53% women or 52% men? Blah, 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 blah. Does, is, is it balanced like that? The difference between somebody who says, yeah, I really like Gamala Harris. I really like Tampon Timmy A. Walls. Yeah, I really like them. Are they likely to say, oh, am I going to go out and vote for them? Oh, no, no. You, you didn't ask me that. You asked me whom I preferred. And if I can just lift a finger and push something without having to get off of my fat ass and do something, yeah, I'll tell you that much. But I'm not going to vote. I've never voted. I don't even vote. You ask me. Whether I am, uh, well, theoretically a registered voter, that motor voter thing, because I keep getting that damn jury duty stuff, so I guess I'm registered, but I don't even vote. If you keep listening to this, if you keep listening to this, you're going to go crazy. And I'm going to tell you one time, Uncle Lenny's going to tell you one more time, and listen carefully. The thing that keeps me up at night are the writing, mailing, Absentee votes. Seven states, 15 counties, but that's it. And all this stuff is nonsense. All this business about whether he lied about the, the, the sergeant major or the IVF, it doesn't matter. That's where the evidence uh, or, or the, the effort should be, should be paid. That's it. And don't expect a lot of people who are supposedly running the show to tell you, oh, I've been negligent. We don't know anything about what you're talking about. But I'm going to be sending out a bunch of poll watchers and poll cats so we can sit around and just stare at the polls and look for something when the real issue is in the back room when they're counting the ride-ins.
You understand what I'm saying? Now comment as you see fit. <laughs>